Hey guys, and welcome to another reading of some Pokemon Creepypasta. Um, I'm just going to do two short ones since I'm not feeling so well and I already recorded today. Um, I'm mostly doing this because I didn't record one yesterday. I had a long day. So, let's start yeah. with the Nightmare Group, a Pokemon Creepypasta. It was a hot day in July. She had no idea what was about to happen to her. Let's go back about ten years. Here comes the trainer. If you look, you'll see she's battling a shiny Luminion. I see she caught it. Now the nightmare begins. I will explain a bit. She needed a Luminion to complete the Sinnoh Pokedex. As she walked back to Sanjum Town to tell Professor Rowan of her accomplishment, her Luminion was following closer and closer. Instead of looking all relaxed, its eyes had turned blood red and were wide open. Its mouth was wide open and full of sharp, razor sharp teeth. It was pitch black and dark red instead of navy blue and sky blue. She was on the very edge of Route 202. She could smell the ocean as she was so close to Sandrum Town. And then, her bag dropped on the ground, covered with blood. I ran to her, but I was too late. Her eyes had already rolled into the back of her head, her body dropped, and I could see where the Luminian had clawed her. I ran back to her mother's house and sat on Don's bed. If you're wondering how I know all this, since no other trainer was with her, I'm her Piplup. Okay, then. Um, yeah, that's... That's all there is to it. Cool. Yeah. Moving on. Whoa, it's orange. That's really cool. Anyway, this one is called His Lost Soul, and it's also fairly short. <clears throat> one day, not too long ago, my Charmander vanished in the snow. He never was found again. His body was boxed in, he couldn't escape his horrible fate. Have mercy on his soul. Who knew this day would come, an early doom said to not come. Why did this happen to him? His soul getting boxed in. He doesn't live anymore. His tail ran out of fire, the snow killed the fire, and now he screams so hard his body was never found. He disappeared without a sound. His soul is gone. Rest in peace, Fuzzy. So that was like a memorial for my lost Charizard. It also rhymed, but I read it so it didn't because I hate rhyming poetry. Hate, hate, hate it. Can't stand it. But that's just me. I don't like things that rhyme. Um, yeah, real short. I don't know, what do, you, what do you guys think about these ones? I almost want to find a longer one. Um, I'm going to click random and see. That's not Pokemon. Hold on. Uh, just, just wait. Just wait. Actually. Pokemon creepy. I'm going to just pick a random something that I haven't read before that's not Lavender Town. I don't know how many Lavender Town things I have read. Um, here, Moonlight Web. I don't know what this is. I don't know how long it is, but I'm going to read it. Okay, it doesn't look super long. Let's do this. Moonlight Web. A long time ago, there was a Pokemon called Ariados that lived in the wilderness in the Johto region. She would always hang on her web and gaze at the moon every year when it was full and bright, because it's only full once a year. She loved the moon and when it glistened in her web, but one night Ariados was attacked by a knocked owl. As Ariados saw the owl that was going to prey on her, she became frightened and quickly scurried away from the owl and her web. However, Knocked Owl swooped down farther and farther until it could grab Ariados with its talons and grab her. Because you said that already. 
Knocked Owl managed to pick Eridos up, gripping her torso until it gushed blood out of her inside. Sentences. Eridos screamed as blood came out of her torso like slime, gross, and the Knocked Owl slipped on her, gripped on her harder and harder and harder, harder and harder and harder. We get it. As soon as Eridos was about to die, she immediately loosed used string shot at Nocturne's face because she couldn't use it before, and what the heck is a Nocturne? Knocked Owl squirmed and eventually dropped Eridos from the air. Eridos falls to the ground, her body splats on the fourth floor, and we're now in present tense. Her blood and her poison spreads out of her body and on the ground like sticky slime. She starts to close her eyes slowly. Very slowly. Then she fainted. That's it. Okay. So this one is grammatically incorrect. And, yeah. So, I don't know. Tell me, what do you guys think? And I guess if you want to hear longer ones or more shorter ones, you know, I'm up for... Or if there are any in particular that you like that you want me to read, or, you know, just make some suggestions. Otherwise, like and comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks. Have a great night.